all right everybody welcome back to my channel and real quick i'm gonna make a short video about how to torque the head on the 4g63 there is a lot of confusion over there on the internet and i've been looking all over the place to you know just to see what people are saying and i went to dsm tuners and all that and a lot of forums and i i I checked a couple of manuals and, you know, there's a lot of different things. And, and it seems like there's not a, a one, a, 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 like one torque where everybody's going to agree on, on. And what I have here is my 4G63 head and I'm reusing my old hardware. So... Uh, I already rechecked the bolts, make sure they're uh, in correct length. And right here is my Mitsubishi Eclipse manual, factory manual. And it tells you, of course, uh, uh, if you're going to reuse the bolts, uh, the maximum limit is right here, uh, 3.9 inches, the length. If it's longer than that, that means the bolt's stretched. But it also tells you the sequence on which you should torque all the bolts on the head and it tells you how to do it so it's pretty straightforward guys uh first it tells you to of course uh check the bolts make sure they're in proper length then it tells you to apply the oil on the threaded portion of the bolt and the washer which i already did and then it tells you to, uh, according to the sequence, following this, this sequence, to torque all the bolts to 58 foot-pounds with a 12.12 millimeter socket. So uh, after you do that in this sequence, then you loosen the bolts, you loosen all the bolts, and then it tells you to retighten the loosened bolts to 14.5 foot-pounds. In, in the same sequence like you did over here and then it comes it comes to this point over here once you did it it tells you to give a 90 degree turn to the bolts so what you're gonna have to do is once you torque them all to 14 uh, foot pounds what I did you can see right here I made a mark right here on the on the head a line and then i made a straight line as straight as i could with this marker on the top of the bolt the head so what you do is once you torque in all these 14 inch pounds uh, foot pounds then i have that straight line right like that and so i went and i went all around so this bottom point right here, let me grab, actually, let me grab this, okay. So let's say on this one, right here. There's a line right here, you don't see it, but yeah, there's a line right here, it goes across. So the bottom part of this bolt, since it's already 14 foot pounds, 90 degree is gonna be here. So this yellow line is gonna be like that no longer like this so 90 degree is gonna be right here so that's your first initial 90 degree after that it tells you give another 90 degree turn to the bolts and make sure that the paint mark on the head of each bolt and that on the cylinder head are in in the same straight line so once you do this one once you first 90 degrees right here across that is no longer straight with this line right so the next 90 degree would be right here where it is right now so that is straight across right so that's your final torque there is no oh put it to 100 foot pounds put it to this this is your Mitsubishi Eclipse 
uh, uh, Mitsubishi's approved factory rebuild manual. So, like I said, it tells you all about this uh, 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 thing, you know. It tells you not to over torque it, it, and uh, all that stuff. But, yeah, like I said, that is your final torque. And this is applying to the, if you're using your factory bolts or you have brand new bolts that are factory spec. So, if you have ARP studs, different things applies you know for that if you are using uh different head gaskets other than oem spec ones you're gonna have to look for the different torque as well because the thicker the gasket is the less torque you need but anyway that is pretty much how you do this it's it's pretty simple guys and uh i'm gonna put this video out there so people can finally figure out how to do this and it's like I said, it's pretty easy. Uh, if you're reusing the bolts, be careful, guys. Re Remeasure them. Make sure they're not stretched because you don't want the bolt to be uh, stretched out and then it snaps into your block. That's a nightmare. You don't want that. But anyway, of course, uh, make, if you like this video, make sure you like it, share, subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, guys, hit me up and uh, I'll make sure I answer as, as quick as possible. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Later.